And we back third film session of the week. I want to talk a little bit about the defense. Um, you know, last week there was a cry amongst Cowboy fans that they wanted the run defense to get a little better. Well, I think the run defense got a little better. Let's talk about how they fared against the Redskins running back. Uh, first play, let's just go ahead and run in the show. We're going to have a lot of cartel view on this video because, I mean, that's the best way to watch uh, trench playing. Goodness, Malik Collins, man. This is uh, it's actually a, a technique here, and two things that I, you know that that the Cowboys defense needed to get better. I mean, you could you could broadly say that they needed to get better in run defense, sure, but I think they needed better patience and better gap fit. Okay, patience and gap fit. We'll talk about that in a bit, but um, patience. Right. I need you to read the play before we're just bursting up field, kicking ass. Right. Because some people would would think that, um, you know, you know, beating the run is simply about, you know, just whooping a dude in front of you and then go finding the ball carry. Not necessarily, because even though Malik did beat this guy with speed off the rip, boom, he's going to cross face with speed. But he still has to go with the flow of that block right we see the rest of the Redskins everybody's everybody's blocking right right everybody's zone blocking to the right so if Malik crosses 75's face and continue to cross face to his right he'll just end up going into 73 but Malik has got to get his eyes up and he's got to find the ball carry and he's got to identify the block in front of him and since everybody's zone blocking to the right then Malik has to flow a bit to the right to defeat the rest of that block. See, he didn't just go upfield. He had to flow a little bit to the right to win that leverage battle. And with him doing that, he was able to to uh, find AP in the backfield and tackle him because his head was up and his eyes were looking for the football. That's patience. Now, let's show you what I mean by gap fit. Everybody watching this film, I want you to say it, whether you at work, whether you're on your lunch break or whatever, you in class, whatever you do, I want you to say gap fit. Say it one more time, gap fit comments hashtag gap fit knock on wood if you with me this is what i mean by gap. this is how you stop the run right here. let me show you this let me just show you this and this time i'm actually gonna stop the film before i keep talking about it damn it that is football porn right there that is gap fit right there if you're a former defensive player if you're a former defensive coach you love this right now because you, nobody's just getting washed sideways nobody's getting whooped we came off the ball and we are gap fitting. We got hands inside. Check who is this? Uh, that's Tyrone Crawford. Man, look, people want to hate on Tyrone Crawford. We got hands inside. We have found our gap and we stick in there. There's a gap. Look, you can, okay, so look, AP's job is to find a correct gap, um, find daylight, and to get there immediately, right? That's his job. You got a guy, C gap, B gap, A gap, A gap, B gap, C gap, D whatever 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 everything every gap is filled up here that is top tier run defense right there so there's no way adrian there's nowhere adrian peterson can go and as a veteran i think he notices this that every gap is tied up because we play so well with our gap fit that he's forced to try to bounce this thing outside but he can't because even byron jones is playing fantastic gap fit the only problem i have here is that byron got dragged three yards <laughs> <laughs> Byron, get off the ground, man. You're messing up your clothes. Listen, look, Adrian Peterson was created in some lab somewhere, so I can let this slide. The gap fit was perfect, and Byron made a tackle. He just got dragged. <laughs> three extra yards from point A to point B beyond his free will or whatever. But that's how you play good defense. So next time y'all watching, you know, the 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 game live and you see broadcast view or whatever, man, just think about gap fit, man. We just we need we need somebody plugging up every single gap and that's how you stop the run effectively. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to affordablesticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's affordablesticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. Listen, man, at some point, bro, they got to stop putting tight ends on D-Law like this, man. That's just ridiculous. First and foremost, 
<laughs> Listen, man. First and foremost, man, D Law, uh, the gap fits up front look nice again. That, that wasn't as perfect as that last play I showed. That last play I showed you was perfect gap fits. But um, we're we're uh, we're maintaining some good gap integrity here. I don't hate it. But what I like the most about D Law is he came off the ball with technique here. I don't want O line blocker hands on me, right? This is a tight end, but I don't want any blockers hands on me. And I've seen tight, I've I've seen D Law do this to three hundred pound people. Take a look at his technique here. He's going to come off the ball here, and we got fantastic hands. Look at D-Law's hands right here. Let me just show y'all something. We got D-Law's hands on the inside. His elbows are bent, and his knees are bent. You may be asking me, Vash, why does it matter that all these things are bent? Because when they're no longer bent... <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens when we're when 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 we uncoil those hips and we and we and we extend this is why we we power clean here that's why we we push press that's why we do these 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 off-season weight room things so we come off the ball and we explode and now you see this tight end's hands in the air like you're trying to catch bees in mardi gras now you can just disengage with them however you like and go make the tackle and we know that d law found the uh ball carry because this d line is so well coached that when they're when they're taking care of their run fits even if they're hand fighting with somebody they're finding the football d law finding the football right there even though he's still kind of engaged let me pause he's engaged with 85 right here um and he's working on disengaging with him but you still see those eyes finding adrian peterson right there that's top tier football right there I really like this play because it highlights two of your stars on defense. We got Jalen Smith and Xavier Woods right here, right? Um, let's kind of talk about Jalen Smith first, right? Let's just go ahead and run this play. Now, how many Jalen Smith chase you down from the brackets to the sideline plays are we going to have to see before we call this man a pure gangster? Just just his speed, his burst, being able to get from the middle of the field all the way. Look, 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 where you going? Where, where you going? We could Get down. <laughs> Get down. And on top of that, man, Xavier Woods, we always talk about um how how this defense is how this defense uses both uh both safeties. You know, like uh, you know, Jeff Heath and Xavier Woods, one can play in the box, one can play free safety, and those those guys can exchange places and they can both be um as good as the other safety as you know, as they are in each spot. I don't even know if my English was right there, but pardon me. But if you take a look at Xavier Woods right here. What it, what this hap, what this is is that this gives you flexibility in terms of I have a cover guy in the box and I still get a hitter deep. You know what I mean? And even if they switch, you know, even if um, Heath was deep and Xavier Woods came down, the trace are still there because both those guys are similar. They both can tackle and they both um, and they both have hit power. Take a look at this hit by by Xavier Woods right here. Ugh. Man, you kind of need need needed both of these guys here. You needed Jalen Smith to get there to kind of set up the tackle. Then you needed Woods to actually deliver the blow um, to keep AP powerful ass out the end zone. That's fantastic. Let's just watch one more time. <laughs> All right, let's keep watching. Oh man, take a look at your linebackers right here. This is what Sean Lee as Sam linebacker kind of looks like right here. Uh, him, uh, you know, just kind of leading the charge, him playing point, then Jalen Smith kind of being the secondary guy, then um, Van Der Rich kind of just cleaning up a little bit. Um, but that's what it looks like. Take take a look at how in sync these guys are. Look at everybody's left foot. Look at Sean Lee's left foot. Look at Jalen Smith's left foot. Now look at Van Der Rich's left foot. Just you see how everybody just sees the same thing at the same time. Um, that's 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 insane, man. Everybody read their read their keys at the same time, and I'd imagine that if they get in goal line and they get in this look, they're reading the fullback and the running back, right? Now you can look at Case Keenum; he's trying to pull some trickery, some misdirection. He's gonna, you know, turn his back the other way and then fling back around and hand it to the running back. Um, uh, Peterson there, cool. That could trick somebody, but if you're reading your keys properly, and we got three linebackers that read keys um and if you read your keys properly no matter what case Keenum is doing if you see fullback and running back right behind them then you know they're coming um they're coming this way right and then just everything else is just all about you uh reading which gap they might hit on their way to that gap and sean lee just doing a fantastic job being a sam linebacker just just taking on this hit right here taking on um this outside blocker right here jalen smith kind of taking on the fullback there and um you know van Der Esch could clean up if he got there there, but Sean Lee and Jalen uh, took care of the job first and uh, this was a pretty good goal line stand I love this play here now they scored on the next play but uh, that play wasn't fantastic this play was and that's why I showed you 
All right, I think that's about it, man. Um, you know, I ain't, I ain't trying to hold y'all too too long. It's the third film session of the week. Um, we got some other live streams that I plan on doing. Um, hey man, we this 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 Dolphins. So you know, tune into the game. It's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a noon game versus the Dolphins, and directly after the noon game, check out my post game show, the biggest, best, is baddest post game show in all the land, and um, uh, the morning after show, the day after that. All right, that that Monday morning. So. Uh, these are my films. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski, man. Till next time. Peace. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year. Or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is this multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, Smart TVs, Tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.